It's 5.5 list time. This week, it's 5.5 MCU second stringer stand-ins. from our. You can hear the full content on our episode. Links down below. To start us off, number five is Ryan. Number five, we've got Maria Hill standing in for Nick Fury as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, this is the uh, character played by Colby Smulders. You know, we know from How I Met Your Mother, uh, which was really funny to see her in this role uh, for a lot of people because she's a really comedic character. And then suddenly you're put into a uh, very serious uh, you know, militarist, militaristic-like character, but she's perfect to take over. I mean, in the comics, a lot of times she does step in as the director, but reluctantly so. And uh, to see her take that role full time in the MCU because Samuel L. Jackson has to go at some point is kind of fits perfectly. Uh, what's number four, Dave? Number four is General Ross making an appearance as the Red Hulk. Mm-hmm. Um, General Ross uh, shows up in the comic books as the Red Hulk. One of the things I loved about him was that as he changes into the Red Hulk, he loses his mustache. But it comes back every time he goes back to General Ross. Um, this would just be an awesome intro to the MCU. Um, it would be an interesting to see the dynamic between the Red Hulk and the Green Hulk. And who do we have for number three, Ryan? All right, number three, we've got Jane Foster for Thor. So uh, Jane Foster, this is another one from the comics. She took over for Thor uh, because she was just uh, seen worthy, I guess. She got the hammer. But in the movies, we've got Natalie Portman, uh, who we only ever saw in Thor 1 and 2. We haven't seen past that. And it's kind of disappointing because she's a really good actress, and I think we'd all like to see some more of her. And I think she would really fit in the MCU really well. You know, you can have Thor maybe saying, you know, I've got to leave my people in Asgard now. You know, uh, we got I got to focus on that. Maybe he has another weapon and maybe he forges a new uh, that red, 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 red weapon. I can't remember what it, No, the name of the hammer. I can't Yolner. remember what it's called. Yolner. Yeah, he could forge a new one, hand it off to Natalie Portman and be like, yeah, you're you're in charge now. You got this. You can be Thor. And I think it'd be uh, pretty cool to see her. What about uh, number two, Mike? Number two, we're going to talk about the replacement for Captain America, and Mm. everyone's going to think that it's going to be Bucky. Obviously. But it's not. It's going to be Falcon. Falcon for Captain America as the leader of the Avengers. Um, The dynamic between these two characters so far has been really good. Um, Falcon could definitely step into that leadership role. Um, Bucky can't do it. Bucky's too evil. You need to get Chris Evans for six more movies to turn Bucky good enough to become Captain America. Falcon fits right in. He's ready. It'd be great to see. Dave, who do you have for number one? Well, for number one, uh, I think we should see the talented and uh, capable Pepper Potts take over for Tony Stark as Iron Man. Mm. Or I think Rescue, she's referred to as the comics. Right. She's already shown herself to be very capable of taking over Stark Industries in his absence. So why not take over the Iron Man role as well? I'd love to see what she could bring to that. Because there's times when Iron Man's a bit... Uh, brash and you know overexcited to jump in um she'd be more conservative uh definitely uh, a, a cooler take on that role yeah and for point five this is gonna be my favorite uh and you'll know why <laughs> in about 10 seconds um gwen stacy uh uh is going to play gwenpool or deadpool there you go uh, wade wilson <laughs> has decided that he's had enough of everyone's bullshit and he just wants to sit and play video games um uh, someone needs to take up the pool name and uh, Gwen Stacy jumps in there. Doesn't quite have the same super abilities as the rest of them, but she's extremely lucky. So lucky, in fact, that you may actually think that that is her superpower. Um, and they she need takes Emma over. Stone back, too, don't they? Yeah, well, of course it would be Emma Stone. You can't, can't screw that up. Um, and it would bring in, it would, you know, tie together the universes even better. Be great. Brings Deadpool into the MCU. And that would be our point five. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the full show, The Third Reel Podcast, links down below, where we talk about movie news and reviews. Uh, Also, like this video and comment below with your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos.